Let us look at another example of cost volume profit analysis with an emphasis on margin of safety. Suppose ABC Corp's break even point is a revenue of 1 million euro and the fixed cost are 400,000 euro. So basically ABC Corp's break even point is at 1 million euro which means that once it has hit a revenue of 1 million euro it is in a position where it has recovered all its costs or in other words it is in a no profit no loss situation now out of the total cost the fixed cost has been given to us which is 400,000 euro now with this information we are being asked to find out First, compute the contribution margin percentage. Second, compute the selling price if the variable costs are 12 euro per unit. And third, suppose 80,000 units are sold. Compute the margin of safety. So let us take each of these one by one. So let's first take A. So we are being asked to find out the contribution margin percentage. Now what is contribution margin? So contribution margin is nothing but the difference between the selling price and the variable cost which initially goes towards the recovery of the fixed cost and once the entire fixed costs have been recovered then this contribution margin contributes towards profits for the company. So contribution margin is the difference between the unit selling price and the unit variable cost. Now what is contribution margin percentage? So contribution margin percentage is the contribution margin divided by the selling price. Now if we keep it like this that is the contribution margin divided by the unit selling price then we get the contribution margin ratio and if we multiply this by 100 we get the contribution margin percentage. Now in our case we don't know the contribution margin we don't even know the unit selling price or the unit variable cost. However what we know is that the break even point in terms of revenue is 1 million euro and the fixed cost is 400,000 euros. So now we have to find out a relationship between the contribution margin percentage, the break even point and the fixed cost. So this reminds me of the formula for the break even point in terms of revenue. So break even point in terms of revenue is the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin percentage. So here we know the break even point in terms of revenue which is 1 million euro. We also know the fixed cost which is 400,000 euro and we want to find out the contribution margin percentage which we can do using this formula or 1 million is equal to 400,000 divided by contribution margin percent. Or contribution margin percent is equal to 400,000 divided by 1 million. So this is equal to 4 divided by 10 which is equal to 2 divided by 5. So this is the contribution margin ratio. Now if we want to find out the percentage then we multiply this by 100. So 5 twos are 10 and then 0. So this is 40 percent. So this is the contribution margin percentage. 
So what this means in other words is that out of the selling price 40% is being contributed towards the recovery of the fixed cost or towards the payment of the fixed cost. And once these fixed costs have been recovered, then this 40% will contribute towards the profits for the company. Now let's move to the second point, which is compute the selling price. If the variable costs are 12 euro per unit. So let's move to part B. So now we have to find out the selling price where the variable costs are 12 euro per unit. So now we have the break even point in terms of revenue. We have the fixed cost. We have the variable cost per unit and we want to find out the selling price. So we have to find out a relationship between the break even point in terms of revenue, the fixed cost, the selling price and the variable cost in order to find out the selling price. Now we know that the break even point in terms of revenue is equal to the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin percent. Now the contribution margin percent is nothing but contribution margin divided by the unit selling price. So this can also be written as F and we can take this P on top. So multiplied by P divided by the contribution margin and contribution margin is nothing but the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost. So this is the break even point in terms of revenue. So now let's fill in all the values that we know. So break even point is 1 million. Fixed cost is 400,000. Unit selling price is the unknown divided by the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost which is 12. Or let's bring P minus 12 on the other side. So here it is in the denominator. When we bring it on the opposite side, it will go in the numerator. So 1 million multiplied by P minus 12 is equal to 400,000 P or let's open this bracket now. So 1 million P minus 12 million is equal to 400,000 P or so now let's bring the terms with the variable P on one side and the numbers on the other side. So we get 1 million P minus 400 thousand P is equal to 12 million or 1 million minus 400,000 is 600,000 or P is equal to 12 million divided by 600 now there are five zeros here and this cancels with the five zeros on the top. Six twos are twelve and one zero. So the unit selling price is 20 euros. Now let's move to the third part which is to find the margin of safety when the number of units sold is 80,000. So let's look at part C. Now here we have been given that the number of units sold is 80,000. And we have to find out the margin of safety. 
Now we know that margin of safety is nothing but the difference between the number of units sold and the number of units at break even point. Now we know the number of units sold. We don't know the break even point in terms of units. However, we know the break even point in terms of revenue. And we know that the break even point in terms of revenue is nothing but the break even point in terms of units multiplied by the unit selling price. Now, we know the break even point in terms of revenue. And we also know the unit selling price because we found it as part of step B. So with this, we can find out the break even point in terms of units. So break even point in terms of units will be equal to break even point in terms of revenue divided by the unit selling price. So this is 1 million divided by P, which is 20. So zero gets canceled with zero to fives are 10 and then these four zeros. So this is equal to 50,000 units. So here we know the number of units sold, which is 80,000. And we know the number of units at the break even point. Now, we know that margin of safety is number of units sold minus the break even point in terms of units. Or in other terms, the margin of safety is the amount of sales that the company can afford to lose before it starts hitting the break even point. And if it goes even below that, then it starts hitting losses. So as we had seen in the graph, let's say this is the fixed cost. This is the total cost. And this is the total revenue. On the x-axis, we have the number of units sold. And on the y-axis, we have the dollars. So this point where the total revenue is same as the total cost is the break-even point. And let's say the number of units sold is this here. So this is the number of units sold here. So this difference here is the margin of safety. So if the number of units sold goes below this point, which is the break even point, then the company starts making losses. So as per this formula here, the margin of safety in our case is number of units sold which is 80,000 minus the break even point units which is 50,000 so this is nothing but 30,000 units so ABC Corp has 30,000 units of sales before it starts hitting losses.